Hello, everybody. BSL is back again. Let's play some more. Well, I can't say play anymore, because this game is over. So let's watch More Thousand Year Door. Whoa. The water is all turned into piss. What up with that? <laughs> We've done it. We've beaten Thousand Year Door after so long. We've done it. Let me guess, Luigi is talking, right? So, oh wow, that's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? <laughs> They're both wearing the same clothes, sort of. But now that Pete is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really, though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again, again, bro? And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? No! Yeah, you're the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to. Oh, Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your newfangled mail gadget? Indeed it was. Dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still here working with the Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of rogue pork lore we still don't get. So my research with the Professor goes on and on. Is that so? Well, let's see. The painful I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, no one's in the chest of the Professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe it when I tell you, it's... A secret! <laughs> but I'll tell you next time I see you. Kumbella, why don't you just tell me? I mean, seriously. As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited, and I saw everyone we traveled with, too. There, of course, is Koops and Koopy Koo. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now that... than when you left for Oakport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Oh, how? Huh? What? what? What's going on? Um, okay. Larry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the place he's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. That was totally the best play ever. And somehow Duplis is joined the truth as an actor. Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. Yeah. I'm not gonna ask for any explanations. Oh, and little x -Death? Yeah, he's fighting Solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. It's sorta of silly, but kinda cute too, don't you think? Oh, and wait, I have to get this exactly right, he will get, like, so mad at me. He, uh, said that he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it! I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Um, yeah, sure, Isabella. There's Vivian. Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family is important, after all. Now that the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. Oh, and Beldum also promised me she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Great. Yep, I think the Three Sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. I think I shall not. There's Cortez and Bobbery. And that ghost ship which nobody apparently is scared of anymore. I guess. Maybe. <laughs> Bobbery goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. I ran into him on Kihoki by accident the other day which was nice. He was so happy I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet's looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot, everyone in Kiho Ki as well, and they say hello!
Rogueport. Her smiles is still running the badge shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly sometimes to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. Notice she now has a... A black. Uh, what's it, what's it called? She said just the other day that she had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe-trotting mystery-making flirty little badge thief, huh? Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Bad thief. Hey, it's the x -Nox. Oh yeah. In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Belda has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on mischief-making. <laughs> nice. Be kind of creepy just to talk to a head. And now we're downstairs where the teleporter was. By chance, is it tech? Has tech been brought back? Speaking of miracle survivors, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. It must be tech. Has to be. I don't know any other freaking calculators in this world. Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there's one thing that kind of weighed on me, and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's best kept a secret. Hmm. After that kiss that you gave Mario at the beginning of this game, makes me think. So, please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend, Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro. Sounds like everyone's doing great over there. Oh ho! Eh? Huh? Something's... someone here? No. Excuse me, sirs. Toadsworth. Peach? Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found a treasure map. And I'm sure it'll lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So, Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. No! I don't want to go on another freaking adventure! This game is over! I don't want to see any more of this! <laughs> Mario's thick of the same thing, I'm sure. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though. Excuse me, guys.